our days at coding camp. We have learned the basics. It's in five weeks classes and two weeks for projects in it. So while we're doing this, we will learn about HTML, PHP, CSS, and uh, App Inventor. At the beginning of the class, we have introductions about coding. In this process, I have learned that women have contributed a lot. The, what is depression and like when you're depressed cause of depression I mean, if they want they can get the information you know, it's really small but we try our best we tried this is our website in a short way we're trying to make Ethiopia like if Africa or Ethiopia a better place that's my plan thank you <laughs> so other questions life experiences or schools that I've been it's like it creates a, an opportunity for you uh, just to know something but in here it helps me to uh, like apply in my real life situations and also create that opportunities while I'm here and one of them was like the coding camp in here which I have learned everyone likes technology because it's like it's have all of the things like you can see videos you can do everything you want by technology so I I like technology but I I didn't have that much knowledge about technology that much so when I came here I, I have a lot of knowledge about technology and website and apps so they did a good job in making us know about things like that. Uh, the most interesting thing that I learned is being patient uh, because it needs a lot of uh, enthusiasm and courage to accomplish what you've started. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, it's like creating something out of nothing is one of the things that we, we people are proud of by being human. So that gives me the opportunity of creating things. And that is so uh, satisfactory for me. I think this, this is a very great thing that they, they're making girls and people know this kind of thing think about coding uh, it's like you fit like a puzzle because like my strength and her strength or other uh, classmates strengths make it something very beautiful come out of it and that is so uh, like beautiful when you see the, uh, how we work together and how one's weakness is supported by the other strengths and can build something that is very beautiful and for me, it was so nice because I didn't know other girls that were participating there. So interacting with them and knowing them and creating something new that we don't know and learning at the same time was so very, very interesting for me. Mike, I create a website about depression to make the people like, try to be happy and uh, to know about the depression. Uh, to communicate with people because if you're in depression you don't communicate with people because you feel really like nervous so we create this website so that they can communicate with friends with families with sisters brothers and wherever they want so we're trying to make depressed people to to be happy in a short way we're trying to make depressed people to be happy uh, it was nice, especially when you see it at the beginning, it's like kind of looks easy, but when you get in, in it, it uh, adds a lot of uh, strength, courage, and also you have patience at the same time, because little errors may cause a, lit a lot of, uh, it's like, it might stop you for a while. So that is something that I've learned for myself, being patient is the key to accomplish something. I think I'm going to continue because I enjoy doing this coding. I enjoy very much. Uh, I Because I created my websites, like my website, and that's a big thing for me. So uh, I, I think I'm going to like continue doing this and I, I think I'm going to like create other websites too. So I'm really happy that I learned this coding and I'm really happy that Lava Academy created this coding thing. I live in Ethiopia which is developing country and when I see the world it uh, gives me a different perspective uh, of the world that lives in the 21st century so it's another uh, glass that I see the world now and so from that perspective I kind of say it's like about website and technologies I can say there is a lot that I didn't know uh, it's like it, it kind of changed the perspective because we know that the narrative is most of the coding is done by male and even though they are females we don't know them 
So this, uh, ki uh, this platform gave me, uh, me and my friends an opportunity that we can do this, really female can do this. And there are also other females that have done this and have been successful as well. So it changed the narrative. I make my app, like the depression app, and I think it's, it, it can like make other people know about depression. It can uh, change their life because if one person is depressed, then my website can help them communicate with people. So I think my website is going to change one person's life or two. I want to proceed in doing different web designs, but uh, while doing that, I want to inspire other women in my school, <laughs> especially in my school and neighborhood, to work on this because our world is, is like rapidly growing in technologies and if you don't know how to operate or grow with it you may have lots of problem in the future so i want to inspire young girls and boys to work with it and grow with with it as well especially in my environment we women's and people's even though we ac we access the telephones we don't know lots uh, of it on the other side so i want to inspire them to know what is uh, on the back side too since uh, I didn't really figure out what I want to be, but I know that I'm going to be one of the influential persons in the future. So while doing that, I want to be my work very effectively and I want to do my work effectively and efficiently. So I need the hands of technology in it. So I think uh, the person that's uh, sponsoring this coding uh, thing, uh, he should be really proud of himself because I, I myself, I know a lot now about technology. I know HTML, PHP. I know how to create a website. I think they're doing a great thing for this country. So, I think, uh, I think I'm very grateful to have this opportunity uh, in my school because uh, this coding camp, lots of women did not get it. So in this case, I have learned a lot of things. One of the things that, or the reasons that I've I was in was knowing myself to discover myself so in that case I kind of find myself being patient and uh, also I have to be very uh, enthusiasm for things to accomplish greater things that I don't even know at the same time so it helps me to look a glimpse of that in this uh, coding camp and at the same time interacting with other friends uh, different from my classmates and younger ones at the and also with my age it's like they ha they they are so bright and i can see that they will they have a bright future but they have to make sure that they have the opportunities ahead in life so that was the things that I learned in coding gap. First off was the expectation that they have about coding or the idea that they have about coding. It was just like they thought it was such a hard thing. So like when they first saw just like few codes, we started with just like few codes, even like in HTML, we just said, oh, this is how you write a paragraph. So you had like the P tag. Um, they were so surprised just even seeing like when I taught them like uh, CSS, just uh, showing them like the color change, they were like so surprised. So like that was amazing. I, I feel like that's uh, one of the challenges. The first was like the like the idea that they have about computer science was so different. So like just introducing them to coding and that they can do it was kind of like a challenge, which I think at the end they were able to understand that they can do more than that. They can do like instead of just like changing colors, they were like you know solving problems. I was very happy that the students presented those things. Um, it's not what a lot of people would expect and if people came and saw these presentations they would be surprised they would think are these students in university or are they are they giving their I don't know PhD thesis like it was very amazing it was unexpected they had such short time and when I came and taught them about the presentations it was also very, a very short time but they improved a lot I mean I've seen that improvement because I've been through the process with them so I was very impressed by the presentations. I learned so many things. That's why I say learning is not only about a person standing in front of students and just giving them ideas. It's this, it's that. No, it's not that. It's about me teaching the students and the students also teaching me. So it's a two-way learning process. So that's what I learned from them. I was very inspired. It was amazing. Yeah, Open Hearts Big Dreams uh, are supporting us through funds. So we are really, really uh, thankful for their uh, kind donations. We are expecting more more uh, 
from such organizations, sending uh, professionals here and also sending equipments, uh, not just money. Uh, so we, we really hope Open Hearts Big Dreams will keep on supporting us for uh, multiplying such events throughout the year and also outside this, this uh, school. My name is Barakat Tesfaye. Uh, I learn here at Labawi Academy and I'm, I am rising 11th grade student. Uh, I am 17 years old and I attend Girls Coding Camp that is sponsored by Open uh, Big Heart Dreams. And I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity and providing this program and also my school, Labawi Academy. In Ethiopia, uh, like, girls have been told like you can't program. Uh, it's for boys. And not only in Ethiopia, but around the world. And I think uh, such kind of type of programs are few. And uh, we need more programs to promote uh, coding and uh, programming for girls. Because in the next future years, I'm sure that programming is going to be a, a basic skill for people to do work and uh, sustain their life. I would like to uh, thank Open Heart Big Dreams for supporting us and for making, uh, for creating such opportunities for girls uh, around Ethiopia. So thank you so much.